In this training module, you'll learn about the on-screen overlay known as the heads-up display, or HUD. You'll see it when you're in control of a train. You can configure a range of parameters for the HUD that affect how it looks in the game settings. In this tutorial, you're going to take a look at the two main types of HUD and make a first choice of which one you prefer. Get started by climbing up the ladder. Welcome to the most important seat in the train. Before you can start learning how to make the train move, you're going to need to understand what the HUD is telling you. There are three types of HUD. The one you're seeing now is the normal HUD. You'll learn that first, and then take a look at the minimal HUD next. There is also a simple HUD, which is essentially a cut-down version of the normal HUD. The HUD is a guide to show you what the train is doing, how you're doing, and what your next objectives are. You can tune what's shown here using the game settings. The main part of the normal HUD is the speed display in the bottom right. Your current speed is indicated by a white bar that will appear on the outside of the speedometer, and there is a red mark that indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate the forward, reverse and neutral directions. A cross, or X, means the reverse is currently either not inserted or in the off position. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. If the display is white, it refers to power. If the display is yellow, it means powered braking or dynamic braking. If the display is red, then the throttle is currently locked out and you will need to take steps to release the lock before power can be applied. You can learn about troubleshooting elsewhere in Training Center. These are the brake indicators. The exact one shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on the various gauges. These gauges tell you what is happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC, or brake cylinder. In most trains, when this reads zero, that means the brakes are released. Anything else, and the brakes are applied. In the top right is the track monitor. This shows you the line ahead and allows you to see all the signals and speed limit changes that you're approaching. By default, the track monitor shows the signals with their actual red, yellow, or green aspect. But when you get more confident, you can hide this information via an option in the game settings. As you accelerate, the track monitor will extend its look-ahead distance so you can see much further ahead at higher speeds. This is all done automatically. Now that you're familiar with the normal HUD, it's time to take a look at the minimal HUD. You can change this via the game settings, but for this tutorial, the game will change it automatically. You can see that most of the HUD is now gone. You are left with basic information in the top left corner. The minimal HUD immerses you in the experience of driving the train. Use the train's real gauges as much as possible. In the top left corner, you will see the information about your next objective and some limited information about what the train is doing, such as your current speed, the speed limit, and the gradient. Use the game settings to add and remove information from the minimal HUD. With less information, you'll find driving more challenging, but also more immersive and rewarding. Experienced players might prefer the minimal HUD, especially when driving from the cab view. The normal HUD is ideal for newcomers or anyone who wants to drive from an external camera. You can switch HUDs in game settings. Do you want to start with the normal HUD or minimal HUD? That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.